only in a university environment can a person have the opportunity to experience the world of knowledge and science in all its greatness. Vladimir Vernadsky, the Academy of Sciences member, honored citizen of Crimea, whose name is nowadays proudly borne by the Crimean Federal University, better than anyone understood and advocated the principle of comprehensiveness in higher education, by which he meant creating well-rounded degree programs that comprise both core and specialty courses. Today's university is the best monument to Vladimir Vernadsky in Crimea. Vernadsky Crimean Federal University was established under Russian Prime Minister Dmitry Medvedev's decree on the 4th August 2014. For the first time in the Crimean higher education's history, a number of the Republic's academies, institutes, colleges and research and science institutions were merged into a single Russian autonomous educational institution. To date, the university has about 35,000 students and employs more than 6,000 staff. It is a broad-based modern university with a rich tradition in teaching and research, which is ranked among top 10 higher education institutions in the country. The Taurida Academy is an educational institution with a rich, century-long history that dates back to 1918. A number of eminent scientists, who are the pride and owner of Russian science, worked at the peninsula's first institution of higher education at different points in time. Among them are Vladimir Vernadsky, Vladimir Obruchev, Alexander Baikov, Vladimir Palladin, Abram Yoffe, Igor Tam, Igor Kurchatov, Kirill Shokin, Gleb Frank, and others. In 2014, the Taurida Academy served as the foundation for the establishment of the Crimean Federal University. The Academy includes one institute and 11 faculties, offering bachelor's, specialists and master's degree programs. It has over 10,000 students who will become future biologists, chemists, mathematicians, geographers, environmental professionals, historians, philologists, journalists, psychologists, philosophers, lawyers, information and printing technologists, professionals, physical education and sports specialists. It also offers further education and additional general education programs. The Academy provides all the necessary conditions and resources for learning and research. Staff and students have access to a rich academic library of more than 1 million items and reading rooms equipped with desktop computers. Students combine their learning and research activities with proper rest. There are six comfortable halls of residence, numerous sports facilities, various amateur groups and hobby and interest clubs and societies open to academy staff and students. One of the most notable achievements of the Academy is its botanical garden, which serves as an open-air laboratory for biology, geography and ecology students. The Medical Academy has a glorious history. It evolved from the Faculty of Medicine of the Taurida University, opened in 1918, to the Crimean Medical University, established in 1931 and further to the present-day Georgievsky Medical Academy of Fernadsky Crimean Federal University. The Academy has established the model of continuing medical education, which includes pre-university training offered at the preparatory department and preparatory courses, four faculties providing programs in medicine and pharmacy for home and international students and the Faculty of Postgraduate Training that offers a number of internship, clinical residency, master's degree programs and professional development and retraining courses. There are total 53 departments in the Academy, 37 of which are clinical departments. The Academy offers specialist degree programs in general medicine, pediatrics, dentistry and pharmacy and master's degree programs in public and municipal administration. It also offers clinical residency programs in 32 licensed and accredited specialties. 
The Academy has developed an integrated approach to the organizational and methodological support of the training process. Training videos, training models, phantoms, diagnostic equipment at the clinical departments and the training center – everything is in place to ensure that the training is relevant to the demands of the present time. The Academy staff is comprised of about 700 highly skilled and experienced professionals committed to providing students with quality education. Among them there are about 100 doctors of sciences, of whom over 70 are professors, and over 400 candidates of sciences, more than 200 of whom are associate professors. Currently, there are more than 4,000 students at the Academy. Over 1,500 of them are international students. The history of the Academy of Bioresources and Environmental Management has begun in 1922, when the Faculty of Agronomy of the Taurida University was made an independent higher agricultural education institution. In 2003, it was reorganized and became the multidisciplinary teaching and research-oriented Frimian Agro-Technological University. Currently, the Academy offers bachelor's, specialist, master's and PhD programs in the following areas of study – land management and cadastral records, geodesy and remote sensing, forestry, agronomy, horticulture, agricultural engineering, veterinary medicine, plant and animal food products, landscape architecture. The Academy has over 800 staff, of whom about 200 are academic staff members. Among them are honored scientists, engineers, educators and corresponding members of related academies of sciences. Training is delivered in a variety of labs, equipped specialist classrooms, at student farms, gardens and fields. The student and staff are involved in a number of research and development activities that constitute an important and essential part of the academic process. The Academy of Bioresources and Environmental Management of Fernatsky Crimean Federal University provides training in a wide range of areas through the integration of educational, research and innovation activities. And this integration is an important factor in building competence of future professionals who will help to accelerate the introduction of new technologies and advances in agriculture and environmental management into practice. The history of the Academy of Construction and Architecture dates back to 1960. Today the Academy offers bachelor's and master's degree programs in construction, urban development and landscape architecture, public utilities and water management. The Academy includes the Faculty of Construction and Architecture, the Faculty of Water Resources and Power Engineering, 15 departments, the Center for Further Education and Consul Targeted Training Institute. The Academy has about 2,000 undergraduate and postgraduate students. The Academy of Construction and Architecture is a modern educational institution. Its researchers are carrying out unique research projects covering the region's environmental issues and studying stability and seismic resistance of buildings, constructions and territories. The Faculty of Economics at the Taurida University was established for the first time in 1920. The renowned economist and academic Konstantin Lobli worked at the university at that time. In the 90s, a large number of the Crimean universities started to offer degree programs in economics and management. Today, the Institute of Economics and Management provides high-quality professional education at the bachelor's, master's and PhD levels. It has 14 departments offering degree programs in economics, management, human resources management, public and municipal administration, business informatics, merchandising, hospitality, banking and finance. The Institute also offers further education programs and professional development courses in various fields of professional interest for state and municipal employees, company heads, human resources professionals. 
The programs are delivered based on the latest research evidence. The team of experienced and highly qualified faculty members provides comprehensive and in-depth training for students wishing to become financial professionals, bankers, economists, brokers, human resources auditors, heads of companies, enterprises and IT departments, managers, merchandisers, administrators, marketing professionals, state and municipal officials. The roots of the Physics and Technology Institute go back to October 1917, when the Faculty of Physics and Mathematics was established at the Taurida University. On May 14, 2015, the Crimean Federal University's Academic Board took a decision to establish the Physics and Technology Institute of Vernadsky Crimean Federal University that incorporated the Faculty of Physics and Computer Technologies, the Department of Medical Physics and Informatics of the Medical Academy, the Department of Electric Power Supply and Physics of the Academy of Construction and Architecture, the related degree programs of the University other academic units and the Department of Functional Materials and Fiber Optics. Today the Institute offers bachelor's and master's degree programs in physics, radio physics, applied physics, computer science and computing, software engineering, electrical engineering and electric power engineering. By bringing together the traditions and expertise of the physics departments and introducing new interdisciplinary courses, the Physics and Technology Institute has become a powerful research and academic institution with modern lab and testing facilities, which equips its students with the most sought-after, innovative and required by the modern economy competences. Vernadsky Crimean Federal University has several branches and academic units located across Crimea. Yevpatoria Institute of Social Sciences Institute of Pedagogical Education and Management in Armansk Sevastopol Economics and Humanities Institute Medical College Bakhchisarai College of Construction, Architecture and Design Taurida College Order of the Red Banner of Labor Agro-Industrial College, Pribrezhne Agricultural College, College of Hydraulic Land Reclamation and Agricultural Mechanization. The largest of the regional branches is the Humanities and Education Science Academy in Yalta. Located on the south coast of the Crimean Peninsula, the academy comprises the Economics and Humanities College, the Institute of Economics and Management, the Institute of Philology, History and Arts, and the Institute of Education Science, Psychology and Inclusive Education, which prepare knowledgeable professionals in the humanities and social sciences. Vernadsky Crimean Federal University's research and science institutions bring together education, science, research and innovation to facilitate building competence of future professionals and to accelerate the application of new advances in science and technology in educational programs and Crimea's priority development areas. The university's military training department gives students the opportunity to complete military training and obtain a military profession and a reserve military rank while pursuing their academic degrees. In today's Russia, of which Crimea has become an integral part once again, education, in its inherent link with science, has become the key resource for the region's development. This makes education, and especially higher education, an essential component of the nation's security and welfare. The state's increased emphasis on higher education has been driven by the understanding that the most important value and the greatest asset of the modern society is an individual able to seek out and gain new knowledge and make unconventional decisions. 